What's up people, it's the Oracle. Welcome back to our Pokemon Emerald Let's Play. On the last episode, we didn't really do much. We kind of tested, our, tested out our new Azura Mill, but that was about it. We got through the fiery path, so I guess it wasn't all bad. But let's heal the paralysis on our Pokemon. There we go. And now we will talk to the secret base guy. What's that? What am I doing? I'm thinking about making my own room here using the Pokemon move. I know. I'll give you this TM. Will you use it to make your own room? Yes, we will. I loved Secret Braces back when I first played Emerald. Oracle put away the TM43. Find a big tree that looks like it might drop some vines. Use Secret Power in front of the tree. Some vines should get free and drop down so you can climb the tree. You'll find a lot of space for putting your favorite things. It'll be your own secret room. A secret base. You should make one too. Another thing, you don't you don't always have to make your secret base in a tree. Try to use secret power on rock walls that have small indents in them. I'm going to look for other places too. Okay, bye. So we get secret power and the ability to make a base. Uh, I'm pretty sure that house just heals you. We got a lot of berries here. Let's see what they are. Three raspberries. Okay. Get it? Raspberries. Three more raspberries. I think these are orange. I'm not positive. Yeah, orange berries. There we go. They heal HP. Can always use those. Two more orange berries. All right. I know seed picking is pretty boring, but it'll help us in the long run. So uh, let's get this bed out of the way. Oh, your Pokemon look like serious actors. I have to ask you for an engagement already. Cool trainer Brooke. Sends out a Wingle. Uh, I don't think Rollout will hit him. Um, you know, let's switch. Azurubon's not a good matchup for these guys. Hope he doesn't use Water Gun though. Because Wingles do have Water Gun. Or do they have Bubble? No, they have Water Gun. Supersonic. It's unfortunate. Try a double kick. We're confused. And there we go. We got a double kick off. Wow. Not very effective. Alright, let's switch Chick fil A out because we don't need him to be confused and hurt himself. So let's go back to Azura Mill because a Numble is coming out. There we go, nice little one hit. I'm gonna look up uh, Azura Mill's move set after this video. So I'd like to learn when, or I'd like to know when he learns. When he learns our uh, bubble, or bubble beam, I mean. We could always teach him surf. Surf, surf, one of the only HMs that really does like a decent. That that's a decent move, I guess. Strength is, it's okay, I guess. Rock smash is rock smash. Uh, flash is flash. Cut is cut. Fly, fly is pretty good though. I don't like that it takes two turns, but it does a decent amount of damage. I wish I could become friends with more strong people like you. Our Pokemon is filling up. Route 113. Alright, let's go through all the ash. These are the only things that, these are the only Pokemon that you can find in this grass are Spindas. And they're all over. So we're just gonna run from them for now. Try to get through this as quick as possible. Oh, oh, and Slugmas. Wow, okay, so I take what I said back. Uh, apparently you can find Slugmas in here too. I don't think they're very common though. We don't need one. Okay, so we have a trainer up here. Let's just evade him for now. Okay, so they are common. Everything I'm saying is <laughs> disregard everything I've said. I thought that they weren't common, and I thought that spinners were the only thing you could find.
There's a secret base we don't need really right now. So it's not about a normal, so I'm guessing it's Pokemon she is. Let's just try a water gun. A water gun taking on level 19 Nummo so easily is pretty weird. I, don't, I think water gun's damage is 30. Huff huff, I'm exhausted. Here, slide under my. Whoa, whoa, what? Alright, weirdo. The spinda. It's times like these where we need repels. Ooh, don't want to run into that guy. Do we have repels? I think I brought some. Repels. I was wrong. <laughs> I wish. There we go, we got out. Alright. Uh, let's see, we need those two for now. Alright, so here we are, Felibor Town. We need to catch a few more guys, only a four. They're decent levels, but we need, we need more variety. Oh, hello, you are? Okay, your name's Oracle. I can see that you're a trainer, so that means you use the Pokemon storage system I developed. How I arrived at that conclusion is a simple deductive process. You spoke to me because you wanted to access something on this PC. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Lynette. Honestly, I'm glad to meet you. It's great you're using the storage system. If you could please visit me at home, at if you could please visit me at home, my house is on Route 114. Alrighty. Very peaceful town. Something's happening, and I don't like it. I've seen a shady character wandering, wandering in and out of Professor Cosmo's home. I believe this is Professor Cosmo's home. Professor Cosmo went off to Meteor Falls on Route 114 with some people from Team Magma. So we already know that that's not a good situation. I can get digging here. I'm the fossil maniac. I'm a nice guy who loves fossils. Do you want a fossil? But the fossils around these parts all belong to me. None for you. If you can't bear to go without a fossil, look in the desert where there are boulders and sand that may hide fossils. Uh, don't you give me dig, bro? I'm the fossil maniac. Okay. So. So we get no fossils and we don't get dig. That's unfortunate. Let's talk to the kid. My big brother is a fossil maniac. He's a nice guy who loves fossils. He loves digging holes too. He dug this hole by himself. You can have this, so you can dig holes just like my big brother. All right, so we do get dig. This guy has to say, all my Pokemon does is roar. No one dares come to, to come near me. Sigh, if you would please take this TM away. Easy way to get roar, I guess. We can battle all these guys, but as for right, uh oh, as for right now, we don't really need to. But I guess we will. Need to exercise after a meal. Let's have a match. Unfortunately, we ran into this one. Level 18, Merrill. I think should have evolved by now. Zerul vs. Merrill. Big brother vs. small brother. Let's see what Rollout can do. Water gun. Shouldn't do too much. Yeah, three damage. Oh, and a critical is three damage. Oh my gosh. 
So let's see where our Rurlock can get us. Nice. As I said, Rurlock does get... Oh, uh-oh. This defense is going to rise. Oh, missed. Tail whip. And my defense is falling. See what these rollouts can get us. Oh, he's gonna keep blowing my defense. I hope he doesn't have rollout too. That could be pretty bad for us. <laughs> he's just gonna keep stacking things, I guess. Should be it. Nice. Lombre. We'll switch. Lotad and Lombre are another one of those Pokemon where I don't really like Lombre or Lotad, but Ludicolo is really cool. Ludicolo is probably one of my favorite Pokemon. I use him a lot in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire when I do online battling. Hello, it's Rose. I love where I am now. It's pleasant with sweet aromas. I think someone planted berries and they burst into bloom. See you again sometime. Alright, Rose. There are some Viper in here, which is a really good Pokemon to have, but I don't think I'm going to catch one as of right now. I might do it off of recording, but for now, I'm not going to catch one. Okay. I hate when they do that so much. Three turns, and they turn back into you. Okay, a Slugma, not too hard. Let's just use a Water Gun. This has been really good training for Azura, man. Wingle? Alright, let's switch out. I... Let's use Chick-fil-A. His Double Kicks aren't very effective, but they do enough damage. It's weird how when we faced Watson, I needed all of my Pokemon to be high levels to be able to defeat him. And now when we battle these people that are just trainers, we're, we're way above their level. Like that guy's Pokemon were 18 and 16, our guys are all above 20. Besides Aaron, who I really need to train. Um, Yeah, we have, we have good enough guys to battle these two. If you're not prepared, you shouldn't be up in the mountains. Have you made your Pokemon evolve very much? Uh, I have three Evolve Pokemon, actually. Hiker Lucas and Picknicker Angelina. How do you become a Picknicker? Lombre and Geodude, two good matchups. Two great matchups, actually. Just Water Gun and a Wing Attack. It's nothing but a thing. Meryl? I don't know how we're going to take him down. <laughs> there goes his Geo. Oh, and a critical. There goes his Geo, dude. We would have got him without the critical, I think. I don't know how. I don't know how Water Gun's been so powerful lately. It's probably just because he has high special attack. I think his attack's higher than his special attack, though, so. I'll just use Water Gun with him, and we'll use. We'll just go Wing Attack on Meryl, see what it can do. Oh, I didn't know. So, Numble is one hit, and this Meryl has about 20% left, maybe. And he uses Tail Whip. Alright, then. Oh, there was both of them. I know that. Uh, let's just use Tackle with him, and we'll use another Wing Attack. That should be it. Goodbye, Meryl. I don't know why you have all 18 Meryls at 18 that evolves into a Zoo Meryl, so. Well, they both all that, that's nice. The 
mountains are unforgiving. Oh, I see. That's good to know. What's good to know? We didn't say anything to you. We just beat you. Oh, man. Ran right into him. You had to battle him either way. You lose. You lose. You're supposed to shout you lose since it doesn't echo here. Okay. Should be a one hit. I still do not know how water gun is just so powerful. We need water pulse. Water pulse is a good move. There we go. Took down his Machop. I don't know what level Machop's evolved. I think that's probably 16 or 17 into Macho. Or in, yeah. No, it's probably in the 20s. Because they only have one evolved unless you trade them, I think. Meteor Falls. Very nice. Ah, oh, Zubat. Oh, jeez. Exactly what we wanted to see. I really need to buy more repels. Something I need to invest in. Nobody likes seeing all these encounters with Pokemon. Team Magma. One of our first encounter encounters with them. Another Zubat. I don't think it's just me. Like, that coloring looks off to me. Don't know why, it just does. There we go. Why this meteorite, that thing in Mount Chimney will. Huh? I don't know who you are, but if you get in the way of Team Magma, don't expect any mercy. Hold it right there, Team Magma. You're badly mistaken if you think you can if you can have your way in this world. Even Team Aqua joins us, but it's too much trouble to deal with you all. Heh, it doesn't matter. We've got the meteorite, so off to Mount Chimney we go. Be seeing you, you Team Aqua dingbats. Okay, <laughs> dingbats. And Archie. Didn't I see you before at Slateport Museum? Ah, so your name is Oracle. At the time, I thought you were one of Team Magma's goons. Hmm. You're one odd kid. Team Magma's a dangerous group of total fanatics. They engage in destruction, claiming to expand the landmass. They are the rivals to us, the sea-loving Team Magma, Team Aqua. <clears throat> Boss, we should give chase to Team Magma. Yes, yes we must. We've got to hurry. There's no telling what Team Magma will do at Mount Chimney. Oracle. You should keep an eye out for Team Magma too. Farewell. No, oh, jeez. Ran to Pokemon right before we could talk to him. And it's no other than a Zubat. I I'm Cosmo. I'm a professor. Team Magma asked me to guide them to Meteor Falls, but they tricked me. They even took my meter right away, and then another similar bunch, Team Aqua, showed up. After that, I don't understand any of it, but that Team Magma, what are they going to do with that meteorite at Mount Chimney? No one knows, but we will, oh, wow, 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 Soul Rock, thanks for ruining my outro, bro, ah, <sighs> You're killing me. So we will find out what happens at Mount Chimney in the next episode. Remember, if you enjoyed, remember, please leave a uh, like, comment, or maybe subscribe if you haven't. And just try to help me get these videos out there. So I thank you guys so much again, and I will see you next time.